Vacations is an important part of life. Regardless of which time off accrual policy is adopted in your company, annual or monthly, you have to calculate how much time off will be available to each of your team members if their hire date is other than the first day of the month or year. When you hire an employee, you must prorate their vacation days. Most businesses offer a set number of vacation days for the year, which means any new hire won't start with the full amount of vacation days for the rest of the year unless they start working on January 1st. In that case, the more employees you have, the more complicated it can get. Your employee handbook should state how your employees earn time off. Your employees will be given a specified number of hours or days to use per calendar year. Full-time employee vacation days are the easiest to calculate. First, determine the number of days that an average employee works during a set time. Then, divide that number by the number of total days in that period and multiply it by their accrual rate. For prorating time off for part-time employees, you should use hours. You can start by dividing the average hours that your employee works by 40, the number of hours a full-time employee works. Next, multiply that number by the number of vacation days, just like you would for full-time employees. You can use ActiPlans to track your employees' vacation days and leaves. It allows employees to request time off and get approval from their managers and track the work status of their colleagues. Besides, it automatically calculates prorated vacation days and keeps everyone's sick days balances up to date. To learn more about prorated vacations for different employee groups, read our article below. Explore how to calculate PTO for employees who leave and remote workers.